all resistors have a tolerance to them. And that means they cannot make them exact. These are not super precision um, you know, numbers here. These uh, numbers that are printed on this, these resistors, they're not exact. So what I'll do is I will change my meter over here to ohm. So I'm gonna measure the resistance over here. And then we'll start off by measuring this. This is supposed to be a 100 ohm resistor. So I'll do a nice little contact point and a nice little contact point push really hard. And what do I get? Do I get 100 ohms? No, I get 98.9 ohms. What about this one right here? This reads 50 ohms, but actually what is it going to be? Not 50 ohms, it's gonna be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. In this case, a little bit larger, 50.6 ohms. So it's not always bigger or smaller. It can go either way and you don't really know until you measure it. This is 10 ohms. And of course it's not 10 ohms, it is a little bit more at 10.2 ohms, right? I'm teaching you that these resistors are constant values. These resistors are constant, right? They don't change. In reality, everything changes, right? Um, and so as these resistors heat up, the resistance changes a tiny bit. Same thing with light bulbs. As the, as the light bulb gets hot, physically hot, the resistance value can change a little bit. So, but we, we ignore that and we say that these resistor values are constant and, unless you're just trying to do something extremely uh, precise, you have very, very accurate measurements or something you have to do. We just assume that everything is constant here. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.